after my lecture on hadith and the discussion of hadith and writers of hadith, after Salat al Maghrib, the people asked me to give basic nasiha. Basic nasiha. And I said, the basic nasiha is let's go back to basics. Let's go back to basics. We as Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah must follow simple people. Our awliya of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, those awliya that we follow, was very simple people. I can name many of them who. Many are who have passed away and some are still living and in every age there are awliya of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But all of them have something in common. They are very simple people. They all perform the five daily prayers in Jama'ah. So this first aspect is that we must follow them in this. That our masajid of Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah, we must fill with Jama'ah. Pray five times a day in congregation. This is something we must fulfill with the remembrance of Zindabir rahimahullah ta'ala because he was a person who never left his prayers. <coughs> Secondly, those simple practices that they had like dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we must follow them in this. Most of their time was spent in dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We must follow them in this practice also. And the other simple practices of Al-Islam like staying steadfast and fasting, going hajj, fulfilling our hajj, the simple and basic aspects of Islam is something that we must fulfill. Before we go on to advanced things, we must fulfill our basics of this deen, our basics of this religion. And the basics of this religion are, is our prayer. So this is what we need to go back to. You know, if you stay in the company of these people, this is something you will learn. I traveled in Umrah in the year 2004 with Sufi Sahib. And during that time, he did not leave the Hajjud prayer. He did not leave the Hajjud prayer during the journey. This, I witnessed also this with Mawlana Muhammad Zaman, rahimahullah ta'ala, who passed away this year. He was a relative of Mawlana Niyaz Ahmed Siddiqi, uh, Mawlana Zaman. And he, when we went to Turkey, he would not leave his Tahajjud prayer during our trip. While we were traveling, he would not leave, leave Tahajjud. This was something basic that he upheld and he passed away in a car accident. When I went with Sufi Sahib to al Madinah al Munawwara, we sat in the I'tikaf, 10 days I'tikaf in al Masjid al Nabawi. And the first thing they noticed about me was that I would sleep. I would sleep. But what I learned from that, because the, from just the action, was that you should cut down your sleep. This was basic. Cut down your sleep and perform the basics, the basics of tahajjud, basics of five daily prayers in jama'ah. These are the basic things that we need to go back to, to following the awliya of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the awliya of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala stick to sharia, a sharia to Islamiyah, which is the law. They never break the law. Sticking to the sharia of Rasulullah sallallahu this is why you will find them the most staunch people in following the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. They will be staunch. You will find them with turbans and beards and wearing the garments which are in accordance with the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. This is something that we need to go back to in following the awliya of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and study their biographies. Go and learn. You have Sufi Sahib alive now. His grandchildren have learned a lot from him. His son has learned a lot from him regarding his life. Regarding his life, go and ask him regarding his life. Well, who did he meet? What did he learn from them? What aspects of tasawwuf did he gain from them? What did he learn from Zindabir rahimahullah ta'ala? A man who spent many years with him, you have in your midst and yet we cannot make benefit from him. This is something very basic. Sometimes, you know, people are only appreciated after they have passed away. Let's not make that mistake with the people we have amongst us. Make use of them now and do not praise them when they have passed away. Make use of them now. This is something very practical, which I wanted to deliver to everyone here today regarding going back to basics, learning about the awliya of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, making use of the awliya of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we have amongst them. Go to them at least for dua. The minimum is go 
everyone knows where Sufi Sahib lives and when the five daily prayers happen, most of the time he comes out because now he has illness and we must appreciate that he's here amongst us. Go at least for dua. This is the minimum you can do when you meet a person, pious person who is close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is to ask for their dua, their prayer. And inshallah, the prayer will have an effect. Instead of always going for ta'weed, go for their dua. Because the dua may have more effect than the, than the ta'weed itself. This is a very simple message. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala safeguard our tongues and safeguard us from falling into fitna tribulation. Safeguard our iman, safeguard our actions, safeguard our hearts, and help us to go back to the way of the awliya of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Aqul qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum wa atubu ilayhi. MashaAllah.